Alrighty guys, so here we are uh, with manipulating and going back and forth between equilibrium ideas and then um, uh, electrochemistry ideas and thermodynamic ideas. So um, what you have to know is two equations, neither of which you have to memorize, both of which are going to be in the equation sheet, but you have to make sure that you know what they are. And those two equations are delta G is equal to negative NFE. And then the log of K is equal to N E naught uh, divided by 0 0.0592. All right. Uh, those have been addressed in the uh, lecture of things. So um, as long as you know that you have those two formulas available to yourself, then um, you can go from G to E and then E to K or back and forth uh, between those two guys. So as long as you have uh, any one of these four ideas and a balanced equation or one of these three ideas, then you can get all of them. So again, if you know G, then you can get E. If you know E, then you can get K. Um, or vice versa. If you know K, then you can get E, then you know E, then you can get G. So you can get all of those together with those two equations that are there. So it's really only a question of um, which ones are they asking you to do. So here in question one, they are giving you E and they want G. So this is simple. This is delta G is equal to negative NFE. And so consequently, <clears throat> we just have to plug everything in. So this is going to be uh, negative uh, times, the E is easy, that's 0 0.63. And then the F is 96,485, as we discussed in the lecture part of things. So that's 96,485. And then N is the only part of this that gets a little bit screwy. So what you have to make sure that you remember is you look at a half reaction. So the zinc is going to a zinc plus two, that's two electrons. The lead plus two is going to the lead, that is also two electrons. So remember that these two electrons that are being lost are literally the same two electrons that are being gained here. So your N here is two for your moles of electrons. So it's 2 at 96,485 at 0.63 gets you a negative 121,571. And remember, that is in joules. So if we want to turn that into kilojoules, we divide it by 1,000. And so you're looking at really negative 122 kilojoules there for delta G. So negative 122 kilojoules is your guy.